everybody and welcome back to match day with Max. Forest have just drew to Hall 1-1 on the last game of the regular season. Lisa, that was a bit of an entertaining end. A Brennan Johnson penalty and then we didn't really know what happened. They went down the other end and scored. That result means that Forest will play Sheffield United in the playoffs. You can hear the fear in my voice and, I, and, <laughs> and we shouldn't be scared but I am a little bit, Lisa. Are you? Uh, no, I I think maybe we've lost a little bit of momentum over the last few games, but Forest have proven over the course of the season we fear nobody, and I am still confident and I am happy that I can go to both games and I can actually be there to cheer the lads on, and we just have to have faith. Uh, we've got faith, haven't we, Talian? We have got faith, Talian, with Cooper's signature. We're Donna, were you surprised at how many changes Cooper made today? I wasn't surprised really, I think resting some of the players, um, although there were some players that I was surprised that weren't even featuring on the bench, So, um, but ultimately I think resting them so that we are probably ready for the playoffs. Dave, can we do it? Three cup finals to go mate, it's going to be huge. No reason why not, key thing now, they've had a long hard season, they've had a, a really compressed last four or five weeks so they've had to play a lot of games. Rest and recuperation now, recuperation. That's what this club's been this year, recuperated. So it's going to be a very, very difficult first leg at Bramall Lane, but at least everybody will get a ticket. And we can go there and either nick, nick something or keep it tight. Back at the city ground, anything can happen, mate. We just need to say thank you to Steve Keeper for giving us our forest back. Absolutely. That's all I have to say. Well thank said, you. Lisa. Catch all the coverage, match there with Max for the playoffs. It's going to be interesting. Come on, you Reds! Go on, you Reds! <laughs> Steve, last game of the um, regular season before three cup finals, as people say. You said to me I had to call you a legend because you got the team right, so I guess I call you a legend. Yeah. Legend, Steve. Um, that was a, a strange game in a way because you just thought, did Forrest want it? Did we not? But I think we did in the end. But Cooper looked a bit frustrated as he came over and clapped the uh, away fans because I think he wanted Luton. Well, I, well, whoever you're going to play, you've got to beat them, aren't you, in the playoffs, so it don't matter who we get. I just thought, when I, I don't know, when that penalty went in, I just stood there and I just thought, yeah, this ain't over yet. Yeah, and then when, yeah. they, when they put the ball into the box and it come in, I thought, oh, here we go. And we, we didn't play well today, nor did they really. It was end of season, I think, you know, Tuesday took it out of us a little bit, you know, where we went from this time last week. To, you know, possibly could get an automatic. But look, I said before, whoever you're going to play, if you're going to go up for either playoffs, you're going to win. 1989 League Cup final. Can anyone tell me who that was between? Luton, I think. Was it Forest Luton? So I'm going for a repeat. Forest and Luton in the final. But hey, look, let's just, you know, we're in the playoffs. We'd have took this one with seven games. Yeah, it's it's going to be. It's just the nerves. Can you handle a day at Wembley, Steve? You always used to be quite negative, to be honest, but you're, <laughs> but you're positive now. How do we cope with going to Wembley if we get there? We'll be all right. It'll be a day out, and then we'll come back, we'll, you know, win. I said, look, I said we were going to go up this year via the playoffs. I booked my hotel in October. You laughed at me. <laughs> I'm not going to change my opinion yet. I think, I think we... You know, we've got a tough game next next week. We, let's concentrate. I do think it would have been different. I think it would have been different with Cook playing today, McKenna playing today, Cole back on the left. Mm. You know, we made eight changes there. Let's not get too negative. Yeah. Let's not get too positive about Sheffield, you know, Sheffield yeah. United score because Fulham, I think they've all got the suntan lotion on, you know. Um, yeah, so. fingers crossed. We'll see you at Sheffield United. You certainly will. Come on, see you Reds.